Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing this look for you. It's kind of purple and I really like it, so I hope you like it too. So getting straight into it, on my face I have got Benefit That Girl Face Primer and L'Oreal True Match Foundation and this is in Ivory. And on my face I have also got um, a bit of Benefit Hula which is the bronzer. I have got LA Colors Blusher in Peach Rose. And I've got the highlighting side of the Benefit um, 10 highlighter and bronzer. So for a um, eyelid primer, I am going to be using my NYX um, Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And you are just going to place that sort of in a dotting motion all over the um, all over the the eyelid and up to the brow bone, and then slightly under the lash line as well and you can use your finger or a brush, I'm going to use a brush and you just want to blend that through ok so now that the primer is on I am going to be using a cream coloured eyeshadow and I've got MAC Vanilla and um, you're just going to apply this to the whole of the lid but you mainly want to focus on the inner half really because the outer half is going to be um, covered in a different colour but you really, to make it even, just apply it to the whole lid And then the next colour you want is kind of a, a pale purple. So I have got Barry and Dazzle Dust, this is number 31 and it's lilac. And I'm just going to pick some of this up on the brush. And I am going to place it in the socket area. So I'm going to start at the outer edge and pull it through. And I'm going to stop it about here. So you're just going to pull it through. And then you also want to pull it down slightly. So what you're going to do is just lightly pat it down. What you can do is you can also run it along the lash line slightly on the outer edge just to kind of fill in this block here with the lilac and then make sure it's blended into the um, vanilla as well. And then I am going to take Urban Decay Smog which is this colour right here and on a blending brush I am going to run this through um, my crease and past my natural crease line. So I am going to place it on the outer edge and I am just going to rock it through the crease and I'm going to stop it about here and you're just going to blend the colour through. Try not to um, get it too much on the main lid it's just really to go through the crease so just work it back and forth until you are happy with the blending Okay, and then I am going to take Barry M Dazzle Dust number 99. Now, I'm sure this is called Bright Indigo, but I will check that for you. And I'm just going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to pick up some of the Bright Indigo. And what you're going to do is you're going to apply it between the lilac and the smog. So what you're going to do is just place it on the outer edge in the socket area and you're going to draw it upwards in one line, kind of like that, and then you don't really want to go any lower than that, and all you're going to do is just create small circles and blend it up and through the smog, so that it blends it almost as in into like a an orangey purple colour. So you're just going to keep working at that until you are happy with the blending. So I am going to take some of the barium lilac again and I am going to place this on the inner part of my lower lash line and then I am going to take some more of the bright indigo and I am going to run this along the rest of the lower lash line 
So all the way up to meet the lilac. And you can leave it at that if you want to, but I am just going to grab a little bit more of the smog, just a tiny, tiny bit, and just place that on the outer edge and then blend it upwards to meet the smog on the top, like so. So now you are going to want to line your waterline. So I've got a black pencil, I've got Gosh Velvet Touch Eyeliner, this is black ink, and you're just going to line the waterline. You can line it with a white pencil as well, if you want to, to make the eyes look a bit bigger. Um, and if you want any more information on how to make your eyes look bigger, I do have a video for it, and I will try and remember to put that in the um, in the video box. So I'm going to go back to my NYX pencil, and I'm just going to dab it slightly here, like that, in the tear duct area. I am going to take the brush that I used originally and just blend that through slightly. And then before it is fully set, I am going to take Barium Dazzle Dust number 65, and this is green iridescent, and I am just going to place some of this onto the milk pencil we've just placed, just to give it a bit of a shimmer and a bit of a glittered highlight. And you're just going to press it up and blend it out to meet with the smog. You can also bring it slightly further round on the lower lash line if you wanted, like so. So I hope you can see the glitter in that. And so for the upper lash line, you can use a pencil liner if you don't want such a harsh, kind of obvious line. You can use a liquid liner if you feel comfortable, but I'm going to use Clinique's cream liner, and this is in true black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a wing at the outer edge. So just drawing it outwards and create, creating a wing. And then you're going to thicken the wing. And then I am going to connect the wing to the rest of the lash line and um, make the rest of the line. So that is the eyeliner done. Now I know I'm not the best at eyelining, but it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. That's what makeup remover's for, let's face it. And then um, for mascara, I have got the Dior Show Mascara. And it's a very, very big brush, so just be careful, because I keep getting mascara on my um, eyelids, so just be careful. So you're just going to apply this. So that is the eyes done. And then for the lips, I'm not going to go for a lipstick today. I am going to be going for a lip balm. So I have got Sally Hansen Natural Beauty Moisture Plump Lip Balm. And this colour is Mocha Glaze. And you're just going to apply this to the lips. feel it tingling and plumping away. And then I am going to take LA Colours Lip Gloss and this is in Pink Pearl. And I'm just going to apply this over the top to give it a bit of a pink finish. And that is the look complete. So here is the final look. And I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I've enjoyed doing it. I absolutely love this um, this eyeshadow. I think it looks incredible. And because it's purple, it works for pretty much any eye colour. So everybody can get away with wearing it. So, yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you very much for watching. And if you could comment, rate and subscribe, that would be great. And until my next video, I shall see you soon. Bye.